I'm delighted to say uh, we're joined on the phone now uh, by one of our boxing greats. Uh, evening, Joe Calzaghi. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. Very good. Um, you you'd won your first world title, just won it, in fact, when Ricky turned pro. How how quickly did you become aware of Ricky Hatton? Yeah, quite quite early actually. You know, obviously um, when I signed with um, with Frank Warren, obviously we boxed in the same crowd a few times and um, we topped the bill as well together. So yeah, I know Ricky you know, from 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 the early times and seen his progression to the very top. What did you make of Ricky's following? It's, a, it's, a, it's incredible, isn't it? You know, um, especially to go to the states and have so many, so many followers is, is, is unbelievable. And um, I, I sampled a little taste of that when I, when I boxed against Hopkins, seeing the army of fans coming over. But he sort of began the trend, really, didn't he? And um, it's incredible. So I've always achieved. You know, it's, it's amazing. Do you think he got something in terms of reputation as well, Joe, from his defeat against Floyd Mayweather, just simply for taking the man on? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Right? I'm just wondering, you know, he, he's, he's been given a lot of praise for his 45 wins, but he did step up in weight to take on the man who was the pound-for-pound pound number one at the time. Do you think he gets credit for that as well? Well, yeah, he should get credit, because at the end of the day, listen, you know, he, he fought... Kostya, who was at the time recognised as one of the best pound-for-pound pound fighters in the world, was the underdog, pull up a great win. And then, obviously, to step up and wait and fight Floyd. And listen, he, he was in the fight a long, a long way. You know, he ran out at the end, a steam at the end of the fight. But, you know, first round, couple of rounds, you know, I think he shook him up slightly as well. And he, he was in the fight. You know, there's no, no shame in him getting stopped late on in that fight. And, you know, it's a, a, you know, a great performance. And look, Floyd Mayweather still today one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. So you can't take anything away from him without defeat. That decision to call it a day, Joe, how, how difficult is it? I think it's difficult, you know, I think it's taking his time, you know, for me personally, I think it's, it's, a, it's a little bit different to Ricky because Ricky obviously got knocked out in his last fight, mm. and, you know, and if you say to me, OK, Joe, if I got beaten against Roy Jones Jr., will I fight again? I would fight again, you know, I wouldn't want to finish on a defeat, you know, so I think it was more easy for me to, to retire because I knew before the Roy Jones fight I wanted to retire, but obviously with Ricky, I think he, he was thinking he was going to fight a few more fights after the Pacquiao fight, unfortunately, that fight ended the way it ended, and you know, I suppose it took a while for him to sort of really decide whether he needs to fight again. I, I'm personally, I'm very, very happy that he's retired. I think he's done a tremendous amount of British boxing after himself. You know, a two-way world champion. He's done a great job in boxing. I'm really happy that he's going to move on and, you know, go on and promote and so on. He, he talked in in that interview about missing the roar as he enters as the as he enters the ring. Have you missed the roar? Oh, of course, man. That's one thing we, we can't replace. You know, you spend time, you have to find something else to fill our time and to enjoy in life, but nothing's ever going to really sort of um, get that, you know, fill that buzz and that adrenaline rush that we get when we, there's 20, 30,000 people cheering you on in the ring, that adrenaline rush, there's nothing like it in the world. And, um, you know, you just sort of have to accept that that's gone, that party life is gone, and then another chapter will open, and I'm sure every does know regarding promoting whatever, you'll go on and, and be successful at that. Last time you are on, you had to act Romeo and Juliet with Freddie Flintoff. I won't inflict that on you tonight. Uh, it's Thanks. been really... <laughs> <laughs> you probably only just recovered. Uh, I really appreciate you joining us, Joe. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Joe. Uh, Joe Calzaghi on Ricky Hatton's uh, retirement. Eight.